Hello and welcome back. This is lesson 37 in our Free Code Camps HTML and CSS section. And today we're actually going to go over IDs. And IDs are similar to classes, except uh, IDs are supposed to only be used once. Um, but kind of the same concept applies. You can add an ID to your element the same way we add. Uh, a class in our opening tag of the element um, and we just assign it a name that we make up and that way later on in our style tag in our CSS we can uh, select that ID and then make changes to it as far as styling um, and later on we'll also be able to, to manipulate it and do stuff with it through JavaScript and jQuery but it tells us in addition to classes each HTML element can also have an ID attribute there are several benefits to using ID attributes and you'll learn more about them once you start using jQuery ID attributes should be unique browsers won't enforce this but it is a widely agreed upon best practice so please don't give more than one element the same ID attribute Here's an example of how you give your H2 element the ID of cat photo app. And then they show us, we got our H2 opening tag, and then they just, instead of, you know, putting the class, they put an ID equals and then cat photo app. So then they're telling us, give your form element the ID of cat photo form. So we'll just come down here where our form is. It doesn't matter where, you could actually put it after this, before this. Should work the same, I believe. I'll just put it in the front because that's usually where everyone puts it. Or usually where I see it put. So you just give our form an ID of cat photo form. And that's all they're asking for in this lesson. I'm sure the next lesson will teach us how to use our ID and select that ID name inside of our style so we can also uh, you know change the styling of it but for now this is it for this one and we're good and you won't really see any difference inside our browser so I won't really move that out the way since nothing's changing yet